the road mayor alias Sukwago, and I have I have had a chat with Dorin Yanjura as well, and that's the plan. The over the way taking over where? Nigeria. Nigeria. When? Today. today. After today. You tell them to say their wills before they come. <laughs> Let them say their wills. I want to tell you. Nobody is going to play with FDC, and I want to tell Sukwago. Let him, and I want him to be in front if he's coming. And I will show him who I am. FDC Today, the FDC National Delegate Conference, which was called by the Najana Nkumbi faction, had been, has been uh, uh, given a green light by the court ruling, which was done by Justice Sekana. We all know we have two factions in the FDC. One is seated in Katonga, another one is seated in Najana Nkumbi. The first National Delegate Conference was called by the faction seated in Katonga, and it flopped. Because I hear there was a court order which barred it. And for me, I saw this National Delegate Conference, which was called by the Katonga faction, as something which flopped. Because at first they took it to, uh, they tried to hold it in Busabala, which they failed, and then took it to Katonga. I kept on telling people on this channel, if you've been closely following me, that a person who will hold a National Delegate Conference, which is anchored within the law of the land, will be the victor. And to me, I think the Najana Nkumbi faction ahead on this because the court came out and ruled that the National Delegate Conference uh, must be accepted. So in this video, I've come to talk about the effects of this National Delegate Conference, which is, by the way, underway. What we can learn from the politics of the FDC and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation before i do this i want to let you know that if you're new to this channel please subscribe and if you're watching this video from a different platform please head on to youtube type in sula mawagali there is a lot of content of this nature if your politics and economics is what you want this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to i dedicate this video to the political prisoner olivia rutaya who has been in incarceration for more than three years The faction in Katongo, of course it was headed by Besige, they elected Elias Rukwago as the president general of, of the FDC. And for me when I saw Elias Rukwago as the leader of this faction, I knew that it, it was going to fail. I've always done a video as to why Elias Rukwago is not a good leader when he's leading federal leaders. Of course he's a good person, he's one of the best lawyers in Uganda, he's knowledgeable, but is not good at leading federal leaders. When I saw Elias Rukwago being appointed as the leader of this faction, I knew it was doomed to fail. Okay? The best person who could lead this faction was supposed to be Sam Junganda, and I'm going to give you the reason why. First of all, when Katonga announced his leadership, Besija was on the pre-fellow. In fact, Besija has, has taken a back seat in all these fights. That's why even right now I think he's in the United States. Okay? The reason I'm saying that Lukwago is not a good leader when it comes to leading leaders, yet he's a very good lawyer, he's a very good person when it comes to policy. These are the reasons. When Lukwago made the Subi, was it in 2011? Subi had uh, manifested even in 2016. In 2021, he moved alone in FDC, yet he had people like Namboze, Mwanga Chivumbi, Mathia Simpuga, Sivante. When it was time to change parties, Lukwago went alone. That was a sign that even his federal leaders didn't follow him. One of the, the good qualities of, of, of a leader, one of them, there are very many qualities, but one of them is to lead your federal leaders. Okay? And I think it's because uh, Elias Lukwago, the Lord Mayor, doesn't have a, a, is not good at decision making when it comes to leading federal leaders. So, when I saw him leading, uh, and the reason I think is because he knows too much law. He wants to fight using law when sometimes law, uh, even in circumstances where law is not needed. Why am I saying this? When Lukwag was in the, in the DP, he, used to, he fought in the same way until DP was, not, was taken. The same is applying in FDC. The, the battles in FDC were political. And I think if they wanted to win this battle, they would. They, they had to fight politically. And one may ask, 
uh, how would they fight politically one in the 2016 I th 2018 i think when mugisha Munt was the president general of fdc uh basically favored amuriat and he supported amuriat uh, uh, until amuriat won this seat okay the same would be replicated you 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 cannot tell me that Katonga side with the likes of BCJ, who by the way is appealing to FDC, the Lord Mayor, okay, the chairperson of the FDC party very good, can fail to mobilize and overthrow Nandara Mafabi and Amriet. Because they had everything, every facts on their table. They had uh, uh, evidence of that money in the party that they needed to do is one, join the party, register themselves and mobilize from within the party to overthrow these people. Because they had everything. You cannot tell me that if Besige decided to, to mobilize the whole country, Lukaku decided to mobilize the whole country, and we all know even uh, the Sosurio, is it Sosurio world in the north was on the Katonga side, that they would have failed to overthrow these two people when having all those things. But because they were being led by Elias Lukwago, who, who normally believes in a lot of law, there's not, uh, it's not a problem to apply law. But sometimes in, in, in politics, law doesn't work. Sometimes you must play politics to win. And this, and, and this is what the Nandalas did. They played politics. To give you a, 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 another example, when the National Delegate Conference was called in Ubasafa, in Ubasafa, the first one, how can you tell me that Nandala Mafavi and the Amuriat mobilized the gangs in, in Kampala, where the Lord Mayor is, without the Lord Mayor, uh, uh, mobilizing the same because that because that is african politics okay someone from eastern mobilizes gangs more than the person who is a leader in the same region so the the reason the other faction won is because of the the the, the poor play of politics by the areas Rukwago. areas Rukwago uh uh gives in more if is being led by a certain person that's why basically came out to announce that he's not going to stand for any po any political position even if government changes he doesn't want any position in government after if but even now after announcing that Elias Rukwago is still under SCG. Elias Rukwago had very many chances even in 2016 to write to rise above the occasion to go further in his political career but he failed because he bettered he he delivers better under someone okay even in 2021 we all know nandara mafabi and amuriat saw an opportunity of trying to move away from the wings of dr kiza Besiji. they saw that in 2021 before even that the data money came into play because kiza Besiji came out to say that he was telling them to support chagulani they saw that opportunity of moving away from the wings of Dr. Kiza Besiji. But even up to now, Lukwago is still under the, the wings of Dr. Kiza Besiji. And by being under those wings, he won't go further. This is my opinion. You won't go further. And if, if, if he's not very careful, he, and he's, if he's not very careful, he may hold the Lord Mayor position as the biggest position in his life if he doesn't learn to cut out his political clout. So, for me, I think the FDC Katonga faction lost because they played politics wrongly. They had the position of the chairmanship. In fact, this chairman was also around when they are reading the report. They had Kiza Besiji on their side. They had the Lord Mayor on their side. But they decided to play using uh, law jargons. Yet the other people in Najana Mkumbi played using both. If this is is taken, we are going to see a lot of politics at play. We are going to see these two factions fight, but but the victors in this are the FDC in Najana Nkumbi. Of course, that's my opinion. You can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I will see you on another one. Peace.